A day after the tribunal that probed Nancy Baraza's suitability to remain in office recommended that she be kicked out of office, it was not clear whether the suspended deputy CJ was going to appeal the verdict. And that means that the president cannot relieve her of her duties just yet. According to the law, if Baraza is dissatisfied with the tribunal's decision, she can appeal by taking the matter to the Supreme Court within the next 10 days. Which means that unless she officially declares that she will not be appealing, the president cannot remove her from office before the 10 days elapse. And the debate rages as to just what could have nailed Baraza. It appears it's not so much what the Deputy Chief Justice did to Rebecca Kerubo on that New Year's Eve that pinned her down, rather how she conducted herself afterwards. The DCJ tried to get Kerubo to change her testimony to say that she did not see a pistol but instead heard the words, quote, Bunduki, Bunduki. For them, it was trying to interfere with the administration of justice, which is a very critical issue. Surely the second highest or judicial officer ought to have done better than that. In our opinion, a judge who engages in lawless conduct and thereafter tries to explain it away with misleading testimony should not continue in office. According to the tribunal, Baraza mishandled the whole incident. This was a very serious undertaking conducted by a judicial officer. We are therefore not convinced that the deputy Chief Justice can be expected not to engage in this kind of misconduct or misbehavior in the future. So what are Baraza's chances of success should she appeal? Chances are that the Supreme Court will go by the tribunal's decision. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Live at 9.